I'm Sarah. I just wanted to spend a few minutes covering a technique of um, how to apply, or how I, this is the way I do it, um, apply longer fibers. So this comes into play um, when you make something that has sort of long hair all over, or on the, um, the ponies and and there's lots of things that I apply long hair to, but like on the ponies, on their mane, you know, you want to get that hair so that it's free, freestanding, um, sort of brushable kind of technique. So, um, so what's involved is the long fibers, and in, in my demonstration, I'm going to use um, Angora. This is from my rabbit, Maple, and um, this is about, gosh, about four inches long. Um, you could also use alpaca. The Surrey alpaca is really hair-like. Um, mohair, you could use. It just it just depends on what you're trying to do. So we've got that, and then this is like a little core of a bunny that I will be putting the fiber on. And then to attach the fiber, I'm going to use. Um, I call them noodles. Um, they're basically act like staples and these are 100% um, wool and they're already spun and cut um, so it just makes it really convenient to grab and attach and you're gonna you're gonna understand that in a minute you're gonna see why um, and so in this case I'm gonna take the noodles and I'm actually gonna split them in half just because they're thick enough that I can get two out of one. So let's zoom in and I'll show you what I'm talking about and you'll see um, it's easy but it's tedious so it takes some time but the results are really really fun. So I'll show you how it's done. Okay so the noodles come in a bag of um, half an ounce. It's approximately 100 pieces um, this size bunny takes about 30, 30 or so pieces, although we're going to split them in half, so we're getting double. Um, so I just grab these and split them in half. And they're cut to about 2 inches, um, 2 to 2 and a half inches. Okay, so the way this works, we want to cover this bunny with fluff. So what I do is I take the Angora, now, the Angora bunnies have their color on their tip. This has a light buff color, and they go white towards their bodies. Even the, um, even the blacks or grays um, will be white or almost white towards their body. And this is plucked, so it's nice and tapered on each end. If I had cut this off my bunny, um, which I do have to do on my white bunny, this would be really blunt. And in that case, um, I would either want to cart it, or I want to take it and pull it and restack it end to end, so that I'm I'm kind of eliminating that really blunt, um, sharp edge. And in this case, I want to do it anyway because I want the color to get a little bit blended, not to be all on one side. Okay, so now I have my piece, and it's about an inch wide. It takes a little bit um, getting used to this amount. You don't want it to be too little or you're kind of wasting your time. You don't want it to be too much or it won't. Um, I'm gonna, I usually would work with him facing this way, but I'm going to do it this way so you guys can see. So I'm going to start at the base of his neck. Um, oh, so I was saying you don't want it to be too much or it won't, it won't hold on very well. And I want to center the fiber at this, the place where I want to begin. And I might just stab that down a little just to, you know, start to define where that spot is. And then I grab a noodle and I put it on there. And I want the noodle, think of it like a staple. You want your staple to connect to wool to wool on each side of this section because the wool felt a little firmer than the Angora will. So I've got wool touching wool over here and then I go 
back and forth across that. And I've got wool touching wool on this side. And you gotta felt it pretty good, pretty well to make sure that um, it doesn't come undone. You can use a strong, um, pretty uh, strong gauge needles for this. And once it's on there, you want to bring these two edges together, and it's gonna it's gonna stick up. I'll do one more to show you again. And so in this case, I want to kind of stagger as I go back. I don't want to do them all in a row because then you kind of might end up a little thin where the where the row ends. So you kind of want to herringbone, you know, stagger them back. So I'll get another section of fiber. I'll give it a couple of tugs to realign it. Notice how firmly I'm holding it. It's very, very fine. You feel like you don't even have anything in your hand. But you've got to hold it firmly. If you're all like kind of wimpsy wimpsy with it, it just turns into a big mess really quickly. Um, yes, that's a word, wimpsy wimpsy. So grab it and really hold it firmly to restack it. Pull and restack. Pull and restack. Okay, now I'm going to go off to the side a little bit here. I'm going to hold it down. I'm putting them about a quarter inch apart. You don't have to pile them super close to each other because this is so fluffy that it it will blend very nicely. Um, you don't want them so far apart that there's a bald spot. But So I put my noodle on. That's when you know you're really good, when you can pick up your noodle with your needle. Just kidding. I'm sure you could do that. Make sure it's touching on each side and really well felted. So I just keep going all the way down each side and the back and she will be completely covered with fluff. So if you do this properly, you will have um, a creature <laughs> covered with Angora and um, it, should, it should hold very well. If you brush it, um, some might come out just like a, you know, just like a person or a dog might lose a little bit of hair. But um, you should be able to brush it and um, basically it, it'll stay on. So the, um, the noodles are in the Etsy shop and they're $3 a bag and there's a variety of colors. This um, off-white works well for white or fawn. And then there's um, kind of that, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oatmeal or heather color and then a gray medium gray, and then a slightly um, darker gray, sort of gray-brown. So between those, um, you should be able to find something similar in value to the fiber that you're applying, and um, it'll, it'll blend in. So thanks a lot. Hope that worked for you.